Greetings everyone, now I know I'm a bit late, as usual actually, but it took a while until I received my brand new AMD Ryzen 3 2200G Ravenridge APU. And there was quite a lot to test here, which of course did take longer than usual. That's because we are getting some sweet and pretty decent integrated graphics. Not that kind of super duper low end stuff seen on Intel processors. No, actually something quite decent on these new APUs by AMD. Currently such a 2200G can be picked up for about a hundred US dollars. But what are you getting for your money and is it worth a hundred bucks? Let's take a look I guess. Besides the processor, we are also getting AMD's so-called Wraith Stealth stock cooler, which should be good enough for this kind of APU. And believe it or not, I'll overclock with this one in an upcoming video coming soon. The Ryzen 3 2200G features four cores and four threads, which besides the integrated graphics is the main difference between the Ryzen 3 and Ryzen 5 APU. But I personally find the Ryzen 3 much more appealing due to its lower pricing. Although Ravenridge is still based on first generation of Zen cores, we do see some slight improvements on the memory controller. But what makes these APUs so intriguing is their integrated graphics. Vega 8 sporting 8 compute units on the 2200G and Vega 11 on the 2400G. Finally, as we are used to from AMD, fully unlocked multipliers, meaning you can overclock both the CPU and GPU part of these APUs. Ravenridge goes into the AM4 socket, so you could go with a B350 motherboard for instance, but you need to have the latest BIOS version on there. Or you could just wait for B450, coming very soon. So in my case I only have this Overkill X370 board by ASUS, so that's what I'm going to use. Also if you want to make use of the integrated graphics, make sure your motherboard has video outputs. Not every board has such. Ok, so first I'll be testing the CPU part only, with a GTX 1070, and then the standalone APU with it's Vega 8 iGPU.
So first of all, in terms of productivity, nothing special really, but overall decent results. Something you would expect for $100 in 2018. In Cinebench, this 2200G is about on par with the i3-8100 Coffee Lake CPU, except for the single core part, but when actually rendering a video with Vegas Pro 15, the i3 comes out on top by a few minutes. Surprisingly, we do not see a clear winner between the Ryzen 3 2200G and the 1200. Sometimes the the older 1200 is faster and then other times the 2200G is faster. And that can be seen throughout all those benchmarks. Sometimes the 720p and 1080p results contradict themselves, which is a bit weird. I'm suspecting this has something to do with the current BIOS version on my ASUS motherboard. Performance probably will increase with newer BIOS versions. Still I'd rather pick the new 2200G over the 1200. It's better overall. But when looking at those gaming results, is it better than Intel's i3-8100? No, it's not. Ryzen 3 loses when compared to the i3, at least when paired with a decent discrete graphics card. But are you really pairing a sub $100 chip with an expensive GTX 1070? Not sure about that one. But what you all probably came for are the Vega 8 numbers, right? And man, does this 2200G blow away the competition there. These are some pretty unbelievable results. The Ryzen 3 APU wins in every single game there, which totally makes sense due to the much more powerful integrated graphics. So if you're looking for a cheap budget PC on which you could do some light gaming on, and if you don't want to buy a dedicated graphics card, Raven Ridge is the best choice you can make right now. Although one thing needs to be kept in mind, the Vega 8 iGPU is still not quite powerful enough to decently drive most of these AAA game titles at 1080p. But if you don't mind lowering the resolution a bit, all good. Temperatures are absolutely absolutely of no concern and power consumption's looking good too. A pretty power efficient setup I gotta say. Priced at $100, it's a great budget choice, a very capable APU. Which is why I can definitely recommend this AMD Ryzen 3 2200G, gold award for sure. Next up I'll show you exactly at what settings you can play games at with this bad boy. Stick around until then and as always, thanks for watching.